How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how you can have this, a 100% battery health on your iPhone even after months and months of use. So as you can see, my maximum capacity here is at 100% on my battery health and I'm using this iPhone 12 Pro Max and I've been using this iPhone for over five months. And let me prove it to you. So if you go back here, back again, if we go to general and about, and if we check here, limited warranty, as you guys can see, I'm just gonna click on it. As you guys can see, it expires on November the 22nd of 2021, meaning I bought this iPhone on November 23rd of 2020. So November of last year, over five months of use. And as you just saw, 100% of maximum capacity of battery health. So let me show you right now how I did it, all my tips and everything I did to get this awesome result so you can get it too, all right? Let's begin. So the first thing I wanna talk about actually has to do with the chargers, as you guys can see here. So a lot of people think that by using fast chargers like this one and this one, it'll actually be bad for your battery. It'll actually degrade your battery, but that's a myth, that's not true. And I've been using both those chargers, but specifically this one, which is an 18 watt charger. This one is my MacBook Pro charger, it's like 61 watts. And I've been using both of them, but it's specifically this one pretty much every day, and then sometimes this one, and it didn't affect my battery, as you guys can see, 100% after five months. So you can use any charger that you want, it doesn't matter if it's a fast charger or a slow charger, as long as it's an Apple authentic charger, okay? That's very important. Apple charger, Apple charger, so I'll always use Apple authentic chargers. And before we continue, I'd like to say something very important, which is everything I'm gonna talk about in this video either comes from my own experience, and I've been using iPhones for like over 13 years, ever since the iPhone one, and I've been doing YouTube videos for over 10 years, so it's quite a lot of experience. But not only that, also from a lot of studying, a lot of researching on Apple's own website, Battery University, and from the main media outlets and papers you can imagine. So um, I'll also put a link in the description down below with some of those articles and papers and studies. So if you wanna check it out later, you can do that. So trust me, this is not based on what I think. This is based on facts, experiments, and a lot of research. Moving on, and this is one of the most important things I'll tell you in this video, is the fact that I'll never let my iPhone charge over 80%. So as you guys can see, I'm at 80% right now and I'll never let it charge over 80%. This is extremely, extremely important, guys. And this has to do with the chemicals and the way that lithium ion batteries are designed, the way they're chemically designed, okay? So this is very, very important. This is a little bit technical. It has to do with trickle charging. And if you wanna learn more about this, I have a specific video on this subject and I'll leave a card right here if you wanna understand better this whole thing of not letting your iPhone go over 80%, okay? But trust me, this is truly important and backed up by many, many studies. What you should do is charge your iPhone throughout the day. So instead of charging your iPhone overnight and let, let it plugged in for many, many, many hours, what you should do is just charge your iPhone throughout the day. So charge it a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon, a little bit at night, whatever, but avoid charging at night. And just to make this even clearer, let me show you something. If we go to settings, and if we scroll down to battery, and we go to battery health once again, we have this feature called optimized battery charging, which you're probably familiar with. And what this feature will do is exactly this, prevent your battery to charge over 80% when you're charging overnight. So we have this feature built in iOS, proving that this whole thing makes sense. So charging over 80% is bad for a battery. It will degrade your battery over time. So the next tip is to actually leave this on. So when you actually have uh, to leave your iPhone plugged in overnight, if you like doing this, at least have this feature turned on so your iPhone won't charge over 80% 
um, overnight for many, many hours, and this will help a lot on your battery lifespan as a whole. The next thing I pretty much always do is use Wi-Fi. So avoid using 4G. 4G will drain your battery much, much faster, which will be bad in the short run, so on that specific charge, but it'll always be pretty bad in the long run. So it will drain your battery faster, making your battery lifespan worse in the long run as well, affecting your battery health. And on that same subject, on that same topic, we have brightness. So right here, brightness. I currently have my iPhone at full brightness just because I'm recording, but I try not to do that because it's the exact same thing. So your iPhone display will drain so much of your battery, which is bad in the short run and in the long run as well. So what you should actually do is go to settings and then scroll down here to accessibility. Apple hide it for some reason. So it's super hidden right now. And then you're gonna scroll down and go to display and tag size. And then you're gonna look for auto brightness. So right here down below. So it's super, super hidden as you guys can see. So make sure it's turned on. If for some reason you have turned it off, make sure it's turned on. So um, your display will actually adapt to the environment and make the display brighter or dimmer uh, when it's actually necessary. So don't leave your iPhone at full brightness all the time because it's bad in the short run and in the long run as well. And last but not least, we have two tips regarding temperature, both external and internal temperature. So let me explain. Lithium ion batteries, which we have one right here in the back, they just hate extreme temperatures. And I'm talking about really high and really low temperatures. So if you are in a very, very hot environment, if you live in a hot city, like I do, as you guys can see here, uh, try to avoid as much as you can leaving your iPhone in a very, very hot place, like in direct contact with the sun or something like that, because that will degrade your battery so, so much. Again, lithium ion batteries hate extreme temperatures. So try to shield it from the sun, try to hide it from the sun. It'll be very, very good for your battery in the long run. And the same goes for very cold places. So if you live in a snowy place or something like that, try not sticking your iPhone in snow or something. <laughs> Just don't do anything like that, okay? Don't put your iPhone in very, very cold environments. Try to protect it, try to shield it, and you have, and you have a much better battery health over time. And also, internal temperature. So let's say you're using your iPhone normally and then it starts getting really hot in the back here, you're feeling it, a it you're feeling it's a little bit hot. Try and stop using your iPhone, all right? Let it cool down before you use it again. Same thing if you are, let's say, charging your iPhone and using it at the same time. That's a scenario that your iPhone will very likely get hot. Try and not do that. So just as a whole, avoid putting your iPhone in a high temperature situation internally or externally and also very extremely cold situations as well, right? So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. All I wanted to do is just show you how I managed to keep my iPhone battery health at 100% even after months and months of use. That's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.